All right, everyone. Here we go with um, finding the determinant of a matrix for a three by three matrix. Again, you're only gonna find determinants for square matrices. Um, and again, you're gonna need to know how to find the determinant of a two by two matrix to find the determinant of a three by three matrix. So if you're not sure how to find the determinant of a two by two matrix, then you need to go back and check that video before you do this one. So let's make up a matrix here. One, two, one. Okay, here's a matrix. Matrix A. And I want to find the determinant of matrix A. And again, remember I told you that we could represent that with DET A or A with the vertical lines or even just rewrite this matrix with vertical lines around it and they all mean find the determinant. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go across the top row. <clears throat> and we're going to start with the first element too. And I'm going to take that element and multiply this element, this should be a vertical line, sorry guys, by the determinant of the matrix that remains when I take this row and this column out. So when I write the first element, I kind of ignore the column and the row that that element is in and look at the matrix that's left, which is a two by two, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to take the um, uh, determinant of that two by two matrix multiplied by what's called the cofactor. Okay, minus my second um, element in this row is negative one, so that's going to be copied down. Don't let this minus be confused with this negative one. And I'm going to eliminate the row or ignore the row and column that that negative one is in now and look at the matrix that's left, which is a two by two, three, three, one, one, three, three, one, one. So I took the two, ignored its row and column and multiply that by its um, corresponding matrix, its determinant of its corresponding matrix, minus the second element, ignore its row and its column, multiply by the determinant of its corresponding matrix, plus take that last element in the first row, ignore its row and its column, three, four, one, two, and multiply by its corresponding matrix. So this is a, a one method to find the determinant of a three by three matrix. You're going across the top row. The, the signs are plus, minus, plus. So the first um, element, positive two, times the corresponding matrix, corresponding determinant of that matrix, minus the second element, which is negative one times its um, corresponding matrix determinant plus the last element times its corresponding um, matrix determinant. So like I said, in order to find the determinant of a three by three, I need to know how to find the determinant of these two by twos because I'm not done yet. Again, every time I take a determinant, I'm supposed to end up with a scalar. So I have a two times I'm going to say bracket. The determinant of this 2 by 2 is 4 times 1. I'll show my work on the first one. Minus 3 times 2, right? Minus negative 1 is plus 1. Times the determinant of its corresponding matrix, 3 times 1. Minus 3 times 1. Right? Plus, I'll write this out for the first example. 0 times its corresponding determinant, three times two, minus four times one. I technically didn't even have to do this because zero times anything is zero, so that's out. Saves me work when I have a row with zero in it in my initial three by three matrix. And when we simplify, we get two times, this is four minus six, plus one times three minus three, this one worked out well too because that's gone. So this is two times negative two or negative four. So the determinant of this three by three matrix is negative four. Now there's a trick on the graphing calculator also, if you guys are allowed to use it. This is finding the determinant by hand. 
Um, there's another video that I have with, with that in it that you can check out. Um, so once you know how to do it by hand, then go ahead and check your answer um, on the calculator. But some professors, some teachers don't allow you to use that, so you should know both. So here, we'll do one more example. Um, 5, 4, negative 2, 6, 7, 8, 1, 5, negative 1. Boom. There is a matrix. It's a 3 by 3 matrix. I want the determinant because of the vertical line. I'm going across the top. Take my 5, multiply by its little corresponding matrix determinant. Ignore its row and its column. So its corresponding matrix is 7, 8, 5, negative 1. Minus my second element times its corresponding matrix when I get rid of its row and its column, which is 6, 8, 1, negative 1. Plus that last element, negative 2, times its corresponding matrix when I get rid of its row and its column, 6, 7, 1, 5. So again, I start with the element here, ignore its row and its column, 7, 8, 5, negative 1. Always plus the first element minus the second element. So in this case, the second element was positive, but I'm subtracting this situation. And then plus the third element. So because I'm adding and the third element was negative, now I have a negative here. Okay, so plus, minus, plus. And then simplify. 5 times 7 times negative 1 is negative 7, minus 8 times 5, which is 40, minus 4 times its corresponding determinant, 6 times negative 1, which is negative 6, minus 8 times 1, which is 8, plus minus 2, minus 2 times its corresponding determinant, 6 times 5, which is 30, minus 7 times 1, which is 7, and simplify. I get 5 times negative 47 minus 4 times negative 14 minus 2 times 23. Simplify further. Um, 5 times negative 47, negative 235. 14 times 4 is 56, so plus 56. And then 23 times 2 is negative, well, minus 2 times 23 is negative 46. And when I combine all these together, negative 235 plus 56 minus 46, I get negative 225. Boom. Here's my determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix. Okay. Again, like I said, you should know how to do it by hand, and you should also um, be able to check it on your graphing calculator just to make sure you did it correctly. And if you're allowed to do it like that, then it's a nice quick trick. Otherwise... Uh, and then check out that video to, um, so you can see how to do this on a graphing calculator, the TI-83 or 84. And if you guys have any other questions or need any other information or other examples, let me know. Like, subscribe, etc. And um, I'll check you out next time.